Hi everyone, my name is Tasha from Start a School Crochet. Welcome to the Sweet Treats Crochet Along Blanket Border tutorial. This is the border that I came up with and I just want to teach you guys how to do this today. If you're a part of the Crochet Along, I want to say thank you. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy what you see. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I do two crochet tutorials, pattern tutorials, and um, podcasts crochet podcast. This border here I created using double crochets and what I call, I don't know if this is the official name, but it's a pineapple puff stitch. Um, there's pineapple stitch and crochet normally that's used to make shawls and things, but this is a different version and if somebody has an official name for this one, I think it's more of a cluster stitch. Let's get started and I'll show you how to create this fun border for the Sweet Treats crochet along. To start, I started in the corner stitch of row two of the blanket border. And you normally have five stitches in there, so I started in the center stitch. Attach your yarn there. Work a one stitch with both yarns and then drop the tail. Then do one more chain and then work one double crochet into that same stitch. I'm gonna work a double crochet into the next one, two, three, four, five stitches. And then on the sixth stitch, I'm using just scraps here, so I just use scraps from my main blanket on the sixth stitch, I'm actually going to push that back and I'm going to close out the stitch with my new color. You don't have to switch colors. You can do a solid if you'd like, if it makes it easier, because switching colors leaves a lot of tails and can be kind of cumbersome to weave, weave all those in. But I'm going to carry my yarn. I'm going to carry my main color yarn. And when I work into the next stitch, I'm going to do a yarn over first, insert your hook with your white yarn on top or your main color yarn, pull up a loop and do that three more times. Yarning over, inserting your hook and pulling up your, your loop three times. By that point, you should have two, four, six, seven loops on your hook. Then I'm gonna yarn over and pull through the first six and then yarn over and pull through the very last one and that creates a tiny little pineapple, popcorn, bobble. I'm terrible with names, so you guys. But, oh, one thing you wanna do on the last part is finish out your stitch with your main color and just throw your scrap back behind. And then you're switching back to your main color for the last part of your stitch. Then continue to work five double crochets now the math on this might be different for you depending on um, how many stitches you have after you stitch your blanket together and after you count your stitches. So what I did was I wanted mine to be about, um, I wanted there to be about four or five double crochets in between each of the colored stitches. So I did the math and then I divided it into a number where it would be evenly spaced throughout the entire blanket. So again, you want to finish your last stitch with your new color when you're changing. Then take, remember to carry your main color, yarning over, inserting your hook, pulling up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop three times, then yarn over and pull through all but one loop, or all but two, then yarn over and pull through both. But before, you wanna switch back to your main color for that last stitch, like that. And then these might feel loose, so you can just tighten them up. And then continue on doing your double crochets. So 
So we've got one, two, three, four, five. I keep forgetting to wait on that. So grab your new yarn, close out your last stitch with your new yarn. Drop the tail, pick up your main color and hold it behind and work into your stitch. Pull up a loop three times. This time I won't forget. Yarn over, pull through all but two. Drop your color, pick up your main color, and yarn over and pull through. And then you can tighten your tails. That'll all tighten up when you weave in your tails at the end. So there we go. So that is the little button border that I came up with. After you finish this border, um, I think it would be a really good idea to go ahead and create one more row around. Okay, and once you finish your entire border around, we're gonna do one more row around. And for this row, you will want to do three of whichever stitch you choose into the corner stitch to corner it out more. Or you can do a bobble or a tassel or something hanging off of there. So for this fourth row of the border, we've got row one, row two, and row three. So we're gonna do row four of the border. I'm gonna attach my yarn just for the tutorial. I'm gonna attach it in this uh, third double crochet. But you can attach it in the corner or wherever you'd like to attach it throughout the blanket. So I'm going to attach, chain one, and do a single crochet. I'm gonna wrap my tail in there for this single crochet. And I'm just gonna work another single crochet border around the entire blanket and it'll kind of close out that color that's on top. You can do a half double crochet, single crochet. I just thought a single crochet would make fin finish it out nicely. So you can pull those tight on the back. There we go. There you go. And that is the border for the Sweet Treats Cow Crochet Along Blanket. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the blanket crochet along. Um, this is the Dream Sickle Square, which is so beautiful. Thank you guys. Have a great afternoon and happy crocheting. Please subscribe if you have any questions. Leave them down in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them or uh, pop on over to the Crochet Along With Us group and uh, join the discussion. All the links will be down in the description below, including the ebook, which has 102 pages, and um, I'll be adding a few bonus um, things to that soon. The bonus will be a, um, for everybody who purchases it, we'll get a bonus at the end of the blanket border. It's going to say, life is sweet. Thanks guys, happy crocheting.